Hi friends, hope all of you are doing absolutely great. You are watching your favorite show, The Pep Talk, with your favorite trainer, mentor, host, guide, Mr. Nag, Brother Nag, Sudeep Nag, Captain Nag. I hope that my videos are helping you and entertaining you as well as you are finding value, adding value to your life. Today's topic is a very interesting one on The Pep Talk. Today's topic is why should we talk to a stranger? <laughs> Isn't that a very interesting topic? Now, I remember a teacher of mine when I was a little boy, she would come and teach me certain subjects and she gave me a lesson and a tough one. And whenever I used to go anywhere, she used to tell me every day she used to come and say the same thing repetitively that boy, listen to me, my son. Whenever you go out alone, make sure you don't talk to a stranger. And that kind of being repeatedly said had a great effect on me. And I still remember that. Plus she had an imposing personality and left an everlasting impression on me. So that added up to that instruction that she gave. But guess what? When I grew up, I decided to change it all and I decided to do something which is absolutely the opposite trust strangers interact with strangers talk to strangers and my friends out of 25 times I have tried that I clearly remember I clearly remember that I have got enough success to prove that why should we talk to strangers the first instance was when I had gone for an assignment to a faraway city, 250 kilometers from my place as a young man, starting off my career. I had never been there. I did not know the place. It was the first time I was visiting the place. I clearly remember what happened while I was trying to return back. I was at the bus stop at 6.30 in the evening. Probably last bus was being awaited. Unfortunately, I couldn't see any buses. Still, I walked up to the counter and asked for a ticket. They gave me a ticket. They said, there's a vehicle, go there and board it. I went, I couldn't find a bus, I came back. The, I asked the man again, he said, no, there is, go and see. Again, I go, I come back, I couldn't find it. This time, he comes along and here was a car with a driver in it and absolutely empty and was standing there and I said but you said you give me a bus ticket he said no no but you sit in this he'll drop you exactly where you want to go I had got a bus ticket I don't know the place and by the time I'll reach it will be 10 30 at night so I was kind of a little bit afraid and my teachers instructions played in my mind don't trust strangers don't talk to strangers but guess what, that day I decided to change things and I did exactly the opposite. I boarded that cab, I boarded that taxi or the car. I was the only passenger. Guess what happened next? Wait a second, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Wait a second. Story number two. I had this time traveled to another state, a city called Balasor in Orissa. Past midnight 12.30, I landed up in the station. I didn't know anybody, I had never gone there, I had no hotel bookings, I needed to stay some, somewhere, I had a session next day. Everybody I noticed here and there, nobody was there. I was the only person who got dropped in the station. Absolutely dark, few rickshaw drivers were sleeping. There was one rickshaw a driver who was half drunk and he came up to me and offered me that he will take me to a good hotel. He knows a good hotel. I was kind of a little bit scared because my teacher's instruction played in my mind, don't trust strangers. And plus he was half drunk and I don't know where he'll take me. I had my laptop, my phone and everything. And of course me myself. I was I was concerned about my own self but I decided to do the opposite and I boarded that 
rickshaw and it started moving and then it took a left into a dark lane and guess what happened wait a second i'll come back to that also story number 3 this time i was returning from an assignment again i was in a ac train i was seated on the window seat a lady comes up and puts a luggage above and sits next to me she was in her 50s and she had a bandaged up neck and a broken arm and i could see she was struggling with her luggage and everything she sat we started speaking we started introducing each other after a while she we exchanged our email addresses because my teachers instruction don't trust strangers so we didn't exchange phone numbers after some time the station arrived howra station i got down she also got down she started fiddling with her phone later she called me and said i'm not able to book a cab because some problem with my phone and we, i found out that she stays somewhere nearby where i was to be dropped so i booked my cab and she wanted to travel with me and get dropped and then i would go back home my teacher's instruction started playing again don't trust a stranger but again i did the opposite and i offered her a lift and i dropped her where she wanted to be dropped and then that's what i wanted to do and we started off now guess what happened half way wait a second i'll get back to that so the first story the first story when i boarded that car it started off from that bus stop it was one of the best journeys most comfortable one in my life i met a gentleman driver he was so polite so comforting and till now he has become a good friend and he drove it so well and he dropped me 15 minutes earlier and in fact he gave me a home drop i couldn't believe and still i have his number and i'm in touch with him that changed my mindset about strangers in the second story that rickshaw puller took me to one of the most comfortable best well trusted renowned hotels somehow and that night i had a very sound sleep and thanks to that man i could do my assignment well and come back once again the fruits of trusting people and the third story where i wanted to give her a drop i did give her a drop did return back home she emailed me after 3 days and trust me she while we were discussing in the train she understood i'm into training people she was some big shot and trust me i didn't know that she called me to her office and she gave me the biggest assignment of my life again again the point is proved that do talk to strangers do communicate with strangers do trust strangers and friends out of 25 times that i recall i did trust strangers more than 23 times i have tasted success very good success so 96% plus times i have succeeded in this theory so i would say that we need to trust strangers otherwise we will miss out on building rapport with 96% of the people we meet so 96% is a lot you are missing out on a lot so please communicate with strangers don't be afraid mix with strangers talk to strangers interact with strangers that would be great for you in the future i hope that this was an interesting session on the pep talk thank you so much for watching do stay well have a great day be safe and as always do not forget that we need to smile